Lance was the perfect vessel in which to pour the uniform code of military justice and the American Fighting Man Code of Conduct uh, into his psyche. It wasn't until sixth grade that Lanny became Lance. Lanny was a little bit of a mother's boy. Lance was directed by the father. The truth was something that Lance was committed to. Our whole family had been taught that. Uh, he always wanted to stay on the right side of right. Because Lance always brought his A game, it made the rest of us bring our A game and elevate ourselves. Everyone that was going to make a career in the Air Force that could went to pilot training. You never think about it at the time that not everyone who follows the plan is going to come out okay on the other side of the war. We lost at least one airplane every day. Uh, and sometimes it was many more than just one airplane. But that was the nature of the war. The thing I think that's so remarkable about Lance's situation was he was alone. And when you're alone, it's much more difficult to hang on and to have that tragic optimism, that survival instinct has got to be there very, very strong. It's, you know, the old uh, poem from Rudyard Kipling, if, you know, if you can hold on when there's nothing left within you except the will that says hold on. And that's where he was. So I remember I looked across Lance. He had one hand on each of our uh, shoulders. And that's when he looked at me and said, aren't you Guy Gruders from about five inches away? And I said, yes, who are you? And he said, Lance. I said, Lance who? He said, Sajon, Lance Sajon. I said, oh no, not Sajon, not Sajon. I couldn't believe it was Lance. We could not live up to the 100% of the letter of the, of the law, so to speak, and only give name, rank, service, number, date of birth, because they could make you do something and they wouldn't let you die. They could take you to the point where you would do something. I'd say there's one man in the, you know, hundreds of thousands that just don't break, you know, that can take pain beyond any normal person. And Lance is one of those guys. I don't think, I don't think there's any way that Lance ever would have broken. Everybody has some Lance Sajon in him or her. And when called upon, one can reach back and, and be a better student or be a better athlete or be a better warrior or, or do whatever they got to do to do what they got to do. I think the love of his country, which stemmed from the love of his family, drove him to be almost invincible. Wow, the, the, the pain that he endured, I'm sure when the family thinks about it, rips them apart still. It is a a pathway to the triumph. Whether you're a Cy John, whether you knew Lance, or whether you are on the other side of the world and you hear his story, you can absolutely um, use that for your own self and, and create a leader within yourself.